welcome back friends we discussed the way to grip the bow so with that grip we start bowing on the violin so when we bow what is very important to remember is your elbow should always be up and what is important is that your forearm should move like a pendulum on the violin this should help the bow to move freely and in a very optimized way on the violin so very important that your elbow is up like this not too much up like this but in a very comfortable way this is the wrong posture and holding the bow like this is also not the right way to hold the bow we discussed the grip in the previous chapter you should grip it in the correct way in optimized way and then elbow up like this and then freely bow on the violin what happens is in your right arm there are three important components which go into producing a wonderful sound one is the shoulder one is the elbow and another one is the wrist so when you are playing very slowly it is the shoulder which is in operation oh the shoulder helps you to bow very well on the violin as you move a bit faster the elbow takes over at that point see the elbow is taking over so the shoulder is just a support system at that point elbow which is in motion so when you go faster than that at that point your wrist takes over so there it is not the shoulder not the elbow it is the wrist which is actually doing all the bowing work so which means you should have a powerful wrist powerful elbow and powerful shoulder so it is very important to optimize all the three but as you keep bowing all the three will get their own strength and everything will fall into place but it is very important to have the right posture elbow up and then when you play on the violin it is very important to know exactly where to put the bow so the optimized way to bow on the violin is between this this part of the s hole you see the ground here between this hole and the top of the fingerboard preferably that is where you bow most of the times on the violin whichever string you play however you play should make sure that the bow falls in between the the hole and the finger bow whatever you do with the bow it is preferable that you bow it between them sometimes to show some skill in advanced stage you use the different areas that is available to bow we will get there when we do those advanced techniques but right now the best place to bow on the violin is between the s hole and the fingerboard so so much for understanding the way to bow on the violin remember the grip not like this but like this stylish classy and optimized way of bowing and then not like this like this up dynamic that's the way to bow you have to express all your emotions and expression through this right hand which means it cannot be a mono melodic sound it should have multiple sounds whatever you want to do 
you should be able to produce that sound through the right hand because right hand brings out the sound of the instrument so it is very very important to have the right optimized advanced technically competent skill on the right hand